When I first started with this medium, the piñata, one of the first thing I noticed is how translucent the paper is and how you can really play and shift color. And there's something about that that allows me to go places I probably wouldn't otherwise. Here we have a landscape. Right, yeah. I mean, once I started thinking about paper as um, the equivalent of mixing like you would paint, mm -hmm. I naturally just started using it in that sense as well. Instead of covering a 3D object, I decided to just make paintings with paper. Once I started down that road, I just fell in love with that technique as well, so that kind of expanded. I started very simply making what I call pinatkos, which are a take on Rothko. So they're color-filled pinatas. And from that, I kind of just fell in love with the flat surface and uh, using paper to paint. I consider myself a sculptor, so form is what excites mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And with this, you don't have that. Mm -hmm. So you're not really working to figure out how to fringe the piece so that the fringe flows on a 3D object. Mm. It really is way more about the colors than anything else. You're able to get a sense of depth, a sense of atmosphere. It's remarkable. Yeah, I mean, I think that you can make pretty much anything with paper at this point. Um, it's just a matter of will and exploration and probably play. Yeah. <laughs>